Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Dyson Airwrap tutorial and a little mini review as well. So I got this Dyson Airwrap for Christmas from my very, very generous, kind family, which was amazing, an amazing present. I never expected it. I was actually saving for one myself, so it was very, very kind of them to treat me. I have used it a few times now and I'm sort of getting to grips with it, so I thought that I would share it with you guys, show you how I get these bouncy curls, which I absolutely adore. So this is the limited edition Dyson Airwrap. It is in this copper color, which is beautiful. Um, I wasn't a massive fan of the um, gray and pink or gray and purple, whatever it is. So I was kind of holding out for them releasing an all black one which as you guys know, probably would have been more suited to me. We've gone with the copper and I think it's beautiful. It sits really nicely on my dressing table actually. So this is the big case that it comes in. Oh, comes with this little mat to pop it on. This is the complete air wrap here. So we have the wand. This is a hair dryer. These are the barrels for curling two smoothing brushes and then this little curl brush here obviously i'm going to get these out and show you a little bit better but this is what the box looks like i've kept it in this so far um because i just think everything fits in there it looks pretty on my dressing table let's just leave it like that but it does also come with let me grab it this case which is very very cute a nice black velvet case that you can pop it in this would be great for traveling if you are just taking the hair dryer or just a couple of barrels because that's a big thing to lug around with you so i have heard great things about this product and i really really wanted to try it for myself and so far i can tell you that i am not disappointed I'm just gonna go through and show you all the different attachments so you can see exactly what we've got in here. So this is the wand. Now, as you can see on here, this is the on off button. This is the heat button. So you've got three different settings, hot, medium, cold. You also have intensity. So the intensity of the air that comes out, again, three settings. And then on the back is the lock unlock, which is for changing the attachments on the top here. Now here down the bottom as well, this is the filter. You get a little filter brush to clean it with. Um, I've had to do this once already. Quite soon after I got it, actually, I was a little bit worried thinking, hmm, something wrong with it because the light kept flashing and it kept turning itself off. Touch wood, it hasn't done that since, um, since I cleaned the filter, it's been absolutely fine. I don't know whether it was a specific brush that I was using at that time because I haven't used that one since. Um, so maybe it was one attachment that needs a little bit of extra cleaning with the filter, I don't know. It hasn't happened since, so we're all good. So I'll just show you how easy it is to take the attachments on and off. So this is the first one, obviously the hair dryer. You just literally pop it straight on and then move the button down to unlock. Come straight off, fairly self-explanatory. Anyway, let's talk about the hairdryer. So this is the hairdryer attachment, which I love. I was worried um, that this was not going to be powerful enough for my hair because I have a lot of hair, so it holds a lot of water. It takes ever such a long time for me to dry it. This is just as powerful as any other hair dryer I have used. I use this on the middle heat setting, not the higher setting that I would my other hair dryer, and it works brilliantly i don't feel like it's damaging my hair it leaves my hair really really smooth hardly any flyaways it's not frizzy like it normally is and i don't have to use any product on it to achieve that it's just the hair dryer alone i did buy my mum the um dyson hair dryer um i'm yet to try it i wonder if she'll let me try it but i obviously want to compare so if she does ever let me try it I'll let you guys know what the comparison is, but this one works perfectly for me. I was a little worried with the length and thickness of my hair that it wouldn't, but it definitely does. Next up, we have the barrels. So we've got these smaller ones, which I will be using today. And then the bigger ones, which I do like, but they give more of a voluminous curl that doesn't really stay in my hair. So it's okay for maybe like fringes or if you just wanna like give the ends a little bit of a wave. But for me, this one doesn't work on my whole head of hair. Now you actually get two of each, um, one for this side and one for this side, which I think is very, very clever. At first I was a little confused why I had two. We then have two brushes. Now I haven't used this one, I have used this one. Um, it's great for smoothing. If I don't feel like curling my hair, I would just use this and it gives a really nice, smooth, shiny, straight finish, which is great. And then finally, we have a nice brush for curling. I imagine this would be good if you've got a fringe. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, uh, just purely because my hair doesn't really have a need for it, but 
I will give it a go at some point. I want to try all of them, of course. But yeah, that's all the attachments. I did buy separately these, which are supposed to be for long hair. Um, I don't love them. I just got them off the Dyson website. I think I bought the wrong ones. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain more about this later. But anyway, that is the Dyson Air app. Those are all the pieces. So with regard to a few mistakes I made the first time, um, these barrels that I bought are for long hair. The ones that come in the kit are not specifically for long hair. So I was using quite big chunks of hair um, and it just was not working. So you have to use, if you've got longer hair like me, you have to use smaller pieces of hair if you're not using the barrels for longer hair. Figured that out pretty quickly. I've also learned that the barrels work best with damp hair. So I just tend to blast the roots, which I'm gonna do in a minute, as you will see. I also struggled to get to grips with where to place the barrel and where it was gonna suck the hair up. And you will see in the next few clips, I will show you exactly how I do it, exactly where I place it, um, to sort of give the best finish and what works well for slightly longer hair. Um, because I was sort of placing the barrel up here where it should be sort of down here. So now I'm gonna insert the clips of me using the Dyson. I'm gonna wash my hair. As you can see, I have now got wet hair. I've just washed my hair with my um, Grow Gorgeous Curl Shampoo, which I really, really enjoy using. I find that it really helps um, with my curls. So I always try to use that before curling my hair. And now, as you can see, just brushing through it. Um, I'm using this wide tooth comb, which is from T3. And I always brush through my hair with a comb as opposed to a brush when it's wet, um, just so there's not as much tension because I find that the hair snaps really easily when it's wet. Okay, so now that my hair is all brushed through, I'm just going to use some of my Christophe Robin. Um, this is the Prickly Pear Serum. Can you focus please? There we go. Yeah, this is the Prickly Pear Serum and this has actually got a heat protectant in it. So it protects up to 220 degrees. Now obviously the Dyson Air Wrap and the hair dryer, like you can have a cooler setting, which is what I tend to use when I'm blow drying my hair, um, just so it's healthier and for me to use the least amount of heat as possible. Um, but I still do like to use a heat protectant as well, um, just because obviously it is still unnecessary heat on my hair. So I've just popped that all over. And now I'm just going to use the hair dryer, which just slots straight in like that. And I'm going to blast my roots. Now I'm going to use the middle heat setting um, just so it's not too hot, but also my hair um, is quite thick. Well, I've got a lot of hair, so it holds water very, very easily. If I was to use the cool setting, it would literally take me probably about an hour to blow dry my hair. So um, I'm just gonna blast the roots now. Now that my hair is damp, I'm just going to brush through it with my Tangle Teaser. Um, I really think this hair dryer gives such a nice finish on my hair. It's really, really smoothing. Normally when I blow dry my hair, it goes frizzy um, and I have to sort of straighten the top bits to get those flyaway hairs down now obviously there are still a few flyaway hairs I don't know how well you can see um, but it really does give that smoothing effect the whole way through um, there have been plenty of times when I've just literally blasted my hair um, with the hair dryer so it's fully dry and I don't need to do anything with it afterwards it looks glossy and shiny and smooth also this brush is brilliant for that. Sometimes I'll blow dry my hair to this point and then use this until it's fully dry and it gives such a nice sleek shiny look. I don't need to straighten it at all. Um, but today obviously we are curling because that is what I primarily do with my hair. So I am just going to separate my hair, tie up the top part. Now most of my hair is one length. I do have a little bit of shaping around the front but that's it. Most of it is just all one length so this does make it slightly easier for me to um, use this tool uh, because there's no layers. Just makes it easier in general really for me styling my hair. Right, so I'm just gonna secure that in place and now I have the bottom half of my hair ready to go. The first time I used this, I dried my hair fully um, and then started curling and um, I spoke to some people and I said, no, best thing to do is to blast the roots, leave the hair slightly damp and then start curling and you get the best results and the longest lasting curls. So time to begin. Um, obviously we have the two barrels. Use the one that's pointing away from your face for each side. So we're gonna go with the right side first. 
pop that on now because my hair is so long i do have to use quite small pieces um you will see i'm still getting to grips with this tool so you will see sometimes you use a bit that's too big and it just doesn't work um i did buy these um but they are too big um, I used them the other day and not in lengthwise in um, girth because they, the curls were just too loose and my hair didn't hold them. So they do have some narrower ones on the Dyson website, but they're currently out of stock. So I'm signed up for email notifications, so I will probably purchase them when they come back into stock. These are great for really like voluminous, bouncy, loose waves but my hair doesn't hold them. So within like an hour, they'd completely dropped out. This is the same size as this barrel um, that comes with the kit. So basically I just purchased the wrong one, silly me. As you can see, this is slightly narrower. Anyway, let's get on with this. What you wanna do is have the tool on full heat. Well, this is what I do anyway. Um, as I said, I'm still learning. So if I'm doing it completely wrong, don't have a go at me. So I have the tool on full heat, blast the air, pop it behind the strand of hair. And then in it goes. I hold it for about five to seven seconds. And then I cool down the heat. So I'll pop it on the middle setting and then the coolest setting before I release it. And there we go. A beautiful little curl. So basically, that's as easy as it is. I'll do a couple more for you so you can sort of get the gist of it. I'm still learning where to place the hair to get it to wrap around with most ease um, because I find placing it near the top and then moving it out and back in works better. I don't know if that's because I've got slightly longer hair, but I see lots of people just put it right at the end and it zips right round, but that doesn't always work for me. So I just do whatever feels best, basically. another pretty little curl right so i'm basically just going to speed that up um until i do the shorter parts of my hair because i think you've got the gist of it now right Okay, so as you can see, the bulk of my hair is done. I just have these little short bits at the front and I thought that I would just do this in real time so you can see how it works on the shorter hair um, if your hair is a bit shorter. How many more times am I gonna say shorter? Um, so I just have these little bits that frame my face um, and I use the same barrel. I have seen people use this for their fringe. Um, I don't think mine's quite short enough to use this. Um, and I haven't actually given that a go yet, so that's one of the attachments that I haven't tried. But I will give it a go at some point, and you will be the first to know if I love it and it's better than using the barrel. But for the time being, I'm going to use the barrel. <laughs> So there we go, a very tight ringlet, but once that's brushed out, it gives such a lovely, lovely shape. So I will just do the other side. The same on that side so curls are done as you can see they're very very tight but this is what i like because i know it's going to stay in for longer so i'm just going to give it a very gentle brush again with my wide tooth comb 
just as not to disturb the curls too much um because although i wouldn't wear them like this they're far too tight for me at the moment um i know that i'm going to want to leave these in for a good few days i'm going to want them to last so i don't want to brush them out straight away but i love all this volume and as you can see as i've brushed through the front bit it gives such a nice like shape at the front these are a similar sort of curl that i would achieve from the t3 but not exactly the same um it's a kind of similar shape but i felt like they were much more um wavy whereas this is like a bouncy curl um which i absolutely love so next thing i'm going to do is just pop on some of my favorite hair oil this is the guzu one i'm running out good job i've got another but just a few drops of that through my hands just to keep a nice shine going through my hair particularly at the ends because obviously that is where the hair tends to split as you can see plenty of volume um, and plenty of curl as well which i love but just to be on the safe side and make sure that it does stay for a little while i'm going to pop some hairspray in so this is the moroccan oil dry texture spray which i love I'm running out of this actually i need some more um but this is my favorite hairspray although this is like a dry texture spray i don't feel like <coughs> god that went right down the back of my throat i feel like it locks in the shine from the hair oil um and doesn't make my hair look textured if you know what i mean so in terms of how long these curls are going to stay in for um, as I said, I'm still pretty new to this. I've only used it, I think, about four or five times. But from what I've experienced, these curls will stay in for about three to four days. And on the fifth day, they're going to be kind of loose. I find that they drop out from the top. Um, so the top part of my hair will be the first to go. And then there will still be like a little bit of a wave to the bottom of it um, come the fourth or fifth day. So that is definitely worth it, in my opinion, if I only have to do this once a week brilliant now as you can see that did take me quite a long time um all in all it's probably been about 45 minutes since i sat down with my wet hair and started the styling obviously i was talking to you guys in between um i'd probably do it a little bit quicker if i was just doing it by myself and i am getting quicker each time i do it um, I'm obviously getting the hang of it, I'm getting used to it more, I'm getting to know exactly what size piece of hair I need to use to make sure it's going to work. But I don't mind sitting down for 45 minutes once a week to curl my hair um, if that's the only time I have to do it. Now I know a lot of you will be thinking, this is expensive, is it worth it? I believe it's £449 for the set that I have got and these two barrels cost me £30 which essentially I think are a waste of money because I don't know if I'm actually going to use them um I might try and sell them on eBay because I have used them um if anyone wants them let me know I'll leave a link to them in the description box so you can see exactly which ones I've got if you do want them um I can send them to you but yes this is expensive it's not cheap personally I tend to spend quite a lot of money on hair tools anyway I have a lot of hair I do a lot of my own styling. I very rarely go to the hairdressers. I like to curl my hair, I like to straighten my hair. So for me, this is not a huge step up to what I from what I was using. I was using the T3 um, hair dry and the T3 Whirl, um, which were great. I love them. Um, they were very, very good products. Um, of course, I'm now more drawn to this. This, I think, is my favorite hair tool. I love the fact that it's all in one. Um, you've got the hair dry, you've got the smoothing brush, you've got big bouncy curls, you've got tied to curls. I think it's brilliant for traveling. You could just take this whole thing with you if you have a very large suitcase and you're sorted. You don't need anything else. Even the smoothing tool is like a brush, essentially. I probably would take a brush with me as well. You're paying £450 for everything, um, which when I accumulate the cost of my hair dryer, my straighteners and my curling tong, it's not that far off, to be honest. And of course, the main thing that I love about this is that it's so much healthier for your hair. I was using a heated wand on my hair um, probably twice a week, um, a heated hair dryer at the hottest setting, just for ease, basically. And then I would always blast with the cool, but I don't know how much good that actually did. Um, I was using that probably hair dryer three times a week and curlers once or twice a week. Um, this I'm only going to be using once a week. I don't wash my hair much as it is two times, sometimes three times a week. I overall feel like this is so much better for my hair. 
I used to get sort of like a singed smell after using the T3 wand, which didn't really bother me, but I would know how hot it was on my hair. I love the look of the curls that this gives. Um, so overall, I love it. Of course, this is not sponsored. Um, I wish it was. But no, my family actually got me this for Christmas. So I would tell you the honest truth if I didn't really like it. I will say it's quite hard to get to grips with. Um, it's completely different from any hair tool I've ever used. So it really does take a few tries. I watched plenty of tutorials as well on YouTube to see how other people did it. But yeah, it takes you a few goes to get, well, it took me anyway, a few goes to get used to it and to get quicker at it. Um, obviously my hair is long. If you have hair shoulder length or maybe a little bit longer, it's not gonna take you as long as it takes me. Um, I'm hoping to get those other barrels that are slightly longer. Um, to create this sort of look hopefully with bigger pieces of hair so it doesn't take me as long but we've just got to wait for Dyson to restock them so hopefully that is soon and if I do find that that's a massive difference I will definitely let you guys know because I know quite a lot of you um, like me with longer hair have messaged and said you know is it worth it does it do the job do the curls last um, yes in my opinion it's worth it. I love it. I just love using it. I'm finding excuses to wash my hair just so I can use this. I get a brilliant sort of salon finish. I feel like I've rambled on for ages now. You get the point. I really like it. I will link my exact air wrap in the description box along with the other barrels and everything I'm wearing. Um, not that you can really see it, it's just a grey jumper. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know if you have an air wrap, if you have any tips or tricks for me. Um, if I was doing anything wrong, let me know in a nice way. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me if you want to see more hair videos more makeup videos that sort of thing um let me know in the comments and i will see you all next sunday with another video i think it's a zara haul